Much of the economic and political debate of recent years has focused on the role of financial services in our society. The stability of the sector, or lack of it, and possible options for reform. First and foremost, we need to develop a robust regulatory framework at a domestic, European and global level that promotes financial stability, but also allows London to flourish as the world's financial services capital. A stable platform will also ensure that the financial sector is best able to serve the interests of the wider economy, meeting the needs of businesses and individuals. So today I want to talk about how the financial services sector can and must reconnect with the rest of the economy. And by this I mean providing the lending that viable businesses need to invest and expand, to capitalise on the opportunities that I know are out there, ensuring that banks never again go cap in hand to the taxpayer, and that we have a financial services sector that serves its customers, has their trust, and acts in their interests. A strong economy needs a flourishing and competitive financial sector. The UK benefits hugely from the wealth created by a global financial services centre. But I also believe that we need a strong financial services sector that serves the needs of businesses and families here in Britain. At the start of today's speech, I said that the financial sector needs to re reconnect with the rest of the UK economy to provide the lending that's essential for investment, to provide greater stability and re avoid a repeat performance of the crisis, and to work in the interests of, cons of cons consumers, promoting both a responsible saving and increased investment. This is our ambition, and we've come a long way in just a few short months. But there's more still to be done. Yes, the economy is growing, investment is on the rise, and confidence is returning to our economy. But we can't afford to be complacent. So we'll continue to look at options to improve our financial services, to secure the recovery, and ensure that a strong financial sector underpins a strong UK economy. Thank you very much.